What is going on guys, Tizwafi here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now last time left off, we did a lot of stuff. We finally took on that Duke Fishron. We took on two more of those like towers or whatever you'd want to call them. Now we only have one of them. It's the one over here, the Nebula Pillar. So we only have that one to worry about now before we actually, you know, summon in the Moon Lord or whatever's going to happen after that. So that's going to be crazy. There are a few things I want to get done before we actually, you know, summon in the Moon Lord and basically beat the game, right? So I definitely do want to still get that like, like above surface hollow biome going so we can actually take on the Empress of Light boss because it only spawns in in the surface hollow at night between 7.30 p.m. and 12 a.m. according to my notes here. So yeah, we do need to get ourselves a surface hollow because you guys know over here we have a hollow biome. I don't know where here it is right here. Yeah, here it is right here, but it's like covered up in snow. So I don't think it's going to spawn in over here because apparently the snow like overpowers the hallowed or some weird meme. So that kind of sucks. And uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to be if we're going to be building that anywhere. Oh, my God, the crimson is spreading hardcore here. You guys, she should probably get more of the. Uh, actually, I think I still have some of that uh, cleansing stuff. Might want to use that over here. And then I think I said I wanted to maybe put in the uh, the mushroom biome over here, like the glowing mushroom biome. So that'd be really cool. We put it over here and then we could finally get that truffle NPC to move in. So that'd be pretty cool. So to do that, though, I do have a few things written down in my notes. I do need to get some mud blocks. I don't know if I have mud blocks over here. If I put them all up in the underground area, I might want to go look over there. But uh, I do know you can get mud from. Do I have dirt here? I don't even know if I have dirt here. I might have. Oh, yeah, I've got dirt right there. Yeah, that's plenty of dirt right there. So that's good. Uh, but you just go to the water and then uh, hallowed sea. We got 90 of that. OK, that's that's good. That's a good start. We need about 100 mushroom grass seeds. Oh, my gosh. I have only 14 there. We need about 100 hallowed grass to, to spawn in like a hallowed biome. So we need to do that. And then we need to get some mud and some uh, mushroom grass seeds. And that'll turn into like a glowing mushroom biome, like an above ground one. That'll hopefully get that, that truffle guy to spawn in over here. So let's get about like 100 ish of the mud blocks over here. Oh, geez. There you go. Eh, that's not too bad, I suppose. I guess we can because we're going to be we have less mus mushroom grass seeds, which I know you can get more mushroom grass seeds by going over to the mushroom biome and just like breaking the mushrooms. And eventually you'll, you'll get a mushroom grass seed randomly. Uh, I, I guess we'll just go plant them down right now just because we have less of it. So we can have you know more time for it to hopefully spread over time. Right. So that'd be pretty good. So I suppose if anything, I could just cut down the trees here. I don't know how big a, a 100 area would be. I, I guess I could zoom out and then use that ruler. Hopefully figure out, hold on, let's get our, uh, there, get our UFO to hopefully take care of that, there you go, take care of that zombie. So over here's 59, then over here's another 59-ish, it's about 60, so about, basically the whole screen right now should be underground hallowed, or not a hallow, but to above ground mushroom biome, so I guess we could start from like that pumpkin or something like that. And make it all the way over to here or something or maybe we just put it all underneath this boss arena area or something which i guess would kind of make sense so maybe from like well if i did it from there would it spread to the no i don't think it spreads through the grass over there yeah i don't think it spreads to the grass because i think it always spreads on mud which is why i made the mud just a moment ago yeah all right well let's cut down the trees here because i think the trees might get in the way so there you go and then i guess we'll go from like there all the way to wherever the edge of the screen is going to be, so probably somewhere over here. I don't know if this uh, boss arena is 100 wide. I forget how wide we made it, but... Oh, something's getting killed. Thankfully, we have a, a pretty good UFO guy right now. I did get comments from you guys saying, yeah, you should definitely make that dragon or whatever it's called. Uh, oh, yeah, just just a couple cloud guys up there. So then I should definitely get that dragon, whatever that thing was called, that we can get from uh, the star something fragments. I forget specifically what they was called, though, but uh, let me just get rid of a bunch of dirt here so we can kind of have a nice fresh patch of area here to place down mud and then therefore have hopefully have the uh, mushroom grow on so let me start placing all this down you guys and I'm not sure if it has to be in the dark or whatever but I guess I'll just keep it as is and hopefully it'll spread because I'm like mushrooms and I'm like they like the dark right so hopefully this uh this lack of light is going to help them out spreading and stuff like that you know so let me just continue placing down more and more mud blocks over here which I'm like I could make more mud blocks by standing in the water right here right and yep, there you go. Guess I just picked up a bunch of dirt, so there you go. Let me continue going until... There you go, that should be good. Until we zoom out. The edge, the right edge is like right on the edge. Okay, so about right there. So basically back, all the way to that tree, basically where that lantern is. Let me let me continue placing this down over here, you guys. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and hopefully we can get ourselves some... Actually, you know what? Let me start planting some of these, too. So it starts growing while... um. 
Okay, there you go. And I wanna- I kinda wanna spread it out like this, too. So it has as much surface area as possible to- to spread a little bit quicker, you know, so. Oh, look at that! It's already spreading down there! That's good! Nice! That's great! Uh, there you go. I think I did it accidentally a little bit too deep there, but... Alright, that should be good there. Oh, wow! A lot of spreadings going on right now, you guys. That's good stuff! Well, let me keep, uh, let me keep placing these here, you guys. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit when I'm done. Alright guys, I am back, and man, I just went to the underground, uh, biome, mushroom biome, to get more seeds. I only got, like, five right there, unfortunately, but... Look at how much it spread already, which is great! Look at that! And I've already made it all the way to this tree, so hopefully that's going to be enough. If not, then, you know, we can cut down the tree and place down a little bit more. And that should be good, but... Yeah, you know, just place them pretty far apart so it grow with the most surface area. Funky Town! Ooh, what is that for? So we have like a... Uh, hold on, what, what is that? Having a sur- I guess, is this enough for a surface? Mushroom biome? Cause I just got that achievement right there. Hold on, what would that be? Explorer or something? Let me try and find this funky town achievement I just got right there. Oh, there it is right there. Build or encounter a glowing mushroom field above the surface. So yeah, we just did that. I guess this counts. So what I need to do now is build like a, a structure for the guy to move into, the, uh, the mushroom, the truffle guy, so... I guess we can go make that out of the mushroom blocks here, glowing a mushroom block, I guess I could just make it out of that, so... Just like it did with this, I can make it, a uh, mushroom lamps and stuff, you know, lantern, we get one of those, that's gonna be the light source. Get, like, two or three of those, I guess. And we can get lamps or torches, can you make torches? You can make candles. Let's get the chair, we need that. We need some sort of crap, we need to get the doors, get two doors, we can go in and out of that. Then we can get the background blocks and all that kind of stuff, yep, there you go, mushroom walls. Um, 80, that should be enough. <laughs> and then, we need, did I get the desk yet? Table, workbench, let's get the workbench, there you go. Then, I think that's it, right? Just lights, roof over your head. Yeah, I think so. Hold on, what was that thing? Goggles. Oh, that's for lenses, yeah, that was like really early on stuff right there, guys. And then, of course, we could place down the glowing mushrooms themselves, and they, those would act as a structure, so. Let's just go over here, here, here's a nice flat area we could place, uh, some stuff on, so how wide do we have to make it again? It's been a little while, if I get. So there you go, make it about that high. Then... I guess we do... Oh, the die trader's finally back! I don't know what took the die trader so long, sheesh. Let's go over here. Let's place this down about where this mushroom was, there you go. I guess that'll be good, and then we can make the roof, and then we can fill it in with the background blocks that we just made, the walls. Then, of course, place down the doors here in just a moment. Oh, whoops. Let's do this. I have, okay, there you go. Now we have smart cursor on, so that's good. So let's go to fill in the back pretty much automatically, which is great. There's a couple back uh, background blocks that I have to get rid of, but whatever. So we can place down the door. Can I do that with a... Uh, okay, I can't just place down the door and it'll automatically get rid of that, so that sucks. Is that two or three tall? Yeah, it's three tall. Okay, so let's do the same thing over here on this side. One, two, three. There we go. Place down the door. Place down some lanterns inside of here so we can light it up. There we go. Not about that. Ah, oh, man, that's not centered. Eh, there you go, that, that's probably fine. Let's place down the workbench in here somewhere. There you go, he's got a mushroom growing in cell. Oh, no! Man! Why does it keep happening? Why do I have that slow? Oh, uh, yeah, because I warped home pretty recently. <laughs> that makes sense, but... Man, I just need to place down the chair, and then hopefully that truffle guy will move in. Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff up there. Holy heck. Hold on. Let's, uh... There it is right there. There's the chair. Dismount. Ah, oh, man. Hold on. I can't, I can't go into there because of this. There so hopefully, uh, hopefully getting rid of that. Hopefully that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Let's place down the mud bag under that. Where is it? There's some mud. There you go. I just wanted to have multiple layers of mud there just to make sure. Because I, I did it in Terraform right there. We still have, uh, background blocks. That's good. So we need to place down the chair now. Then, there you go. I think that's good, right? Like, I could move someone into there, hopefully. Place, uh, how do we get rid of the bat? Oh, I need to get the, uh, pickaxe axe. Wait, I need a hammer. Is this thing a, a hammer? I don't think I have a hammer on me, do I? Ooh. Well, that sucks. Oh, it's like a cloud guy up there making that noise. Okay, let's go up there. Let's go get whatever money's just... Okay, arcane shackle. What in the world? Oh, that's just a... Yeah, it's just a shackle. Probably going to give us, like, more mana or something like that. Nothing too crazy, but... I guess I'll... Oh! There we go. We got the truffle. He finally came in. There we go. Boom. We got the truffle. It can talk. Is he in there? He is. Look at that. And we're supposed to be able to get something from him, right? Mushroom Spear, 83 melee damage. I don't know how good that is. I assume it's like a throwable thing. Then we got a ham ham mush. 
<laughs> mushroom cap. Maybe I'll get that for the memes. One gold. Sure, let's do it. There you go. And then, uh, auto, there it is right there. Auto hammer. Converts chlorophyte bars into shroomite. That's what we need for the shroomite. There was a glowing mushroom there, and then dark blue solution. Ooh, the, yeah, this is the thing that spreads glowing mushrooms, so I can get it from him, go into the contaminator thing, and that'll spread uh, some dark, uh, glowing mushroom over here. I thought we need way more than that, but I guess not. Man, maybe I'll make this a little bit too wide or something. I don't know. Or maybe because I did make it multiple uh, layers deep of mud. I guess, uh, I guess it spread downwards a little bit, and that kind of counts, too. There you go, so we got that working there. We can do the same thing with Hallowed. We could probably do it like right next to that, to be quite honest. Put Hallowed like right next to uh, the mushroom biome. We might as well, right? Maybe we can get something uh, to spawn in over there, but let me just do this. Oh yeah, mushroom cat. Let's, let's put that up over here. There you go, so now I've got a... <laughs> looks like I've got a mushroom helmet on right now. I'll zoom in on that as you guys can see if you're on like phones. But yeah, look at that, we got like a mushroom helmet on. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go put up uh, other stuff like dirt. There you go. Uh, mud? Clay? I don't, I don't care about that, honestly. Zombie band, like mushroom walls, like I'm not going, oh my god, I had a lot of glowing mushroom there. Uh, I guess I can get rid of the the mushroom walls then, yeah, sure, why not? Mushroom lantern, sure, get rid of that. Let's get the clintaminator thing though, what would that be, a tool or a gun or what, what is it? I don't know, where is it on this one? There it is right there, okay, so we got the clintaminator, so we get this thing, and that's going to spread the glowing mushroom biome or something crazy, so let's do that down here and see how that's going to work. I don't know how much it cost it, but I just kind of straight up just bought it. <laughs> So, let's do it over here where it hasn't spread. Oh, yeah, look at how nice and even it spread there, though. So, let's do... Oh, never mind. That was literally just one shot, and then boom. <laughs> well, that didn't really do too much right there. <laughs> so, I need to buy a lot of that, don't I? Yeah, 22 silver. There we go. Let's get, like, 10 of that. Is that good? So, if I get 10 of that, and then do... Uh, I guess I could spread it a little bit more over here. Uh, I think it only works on mud, actually, now that I think about it, so... Yeah, I don't know, I think my efforts there are kind of going <laughs> out the window. Uh, e e what is his name again? Enoki. That's an interesting name. I guess I can sell him a zombie banner, because I don't need that garbage anymore. Mud blocks, I don't need that anymore. Auto hammer, so now we can get the shroomite. I kind of want to go place that down. Flying fish? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Is that him making that noise, or is it that... Oh, yeah, see, it's another one of those cloud guys up there making that noise. <laughs> let's go home real quick, let's go place down this auto hammer thing. And let's go see what can we make out of shroomite whenever we turn chlorophyte, because we've got a chlorophyte farm. So we can basically, we, we basically have a shroomite farm if we uh, place this thing down somewhere. How big is this? Oh, it's about as big as everything else. Man, place it up here. I can't even place it up there. <laughs> Man, I can't fit this anywhere. Man, I guess I could place it in his house or maybe in uh, your house. There we go. So we got the auto hammer right there. So let's go get ourselves some, I don't know if I, do I have my chlorophyte here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I've got chlorified bar right there, so I can I make more of them, too. 357 chlorified ore, so I can make more chlorified bar if I want to, so. Yep, there you go. Let's get, uh, let's get, like, 20 in total, so there you go. And then we'll talk to the guide there in just a sec. See what we can make out of shroomite, so how do I do that? Let me go over here to the, to the guide, though, see if he'll tell us anything about the chlorified bar and turning it into shroomite or whatever. Go to crafting, and there you go. And there, yeah, there it is right there. Oh, I need mushrooms, too. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, well, at least I have a lot of mushrooms, so that's good. Glad I looked that up. I thought I thought it just... Well, I guess, yeah, if anything, it's kind of weird if it just turns it into shroomite without any other uh, thing, right? So, there you go. Now we have the shroomite, so we can turn all that, because we got tons of that mushroom. So, there you go. Boom. So, we get 20 of those. That's a material. What can we make out of that, though, Jacob, the, uh, the guide? Let's see. Oh, I can make some armor. Mask there, headgear is 11. Well, it's not really that good. Well, this one, 24 defense. What do we have right now? Oh, that's the same defense. Increase walls or increase range damage, though. 20% chance to not increase uh, in what consume uh, ammo. Drill containment unit. What? Oh, this is some. Yeah, this is something uh, someone said I should make as like end game stuff, but it needs luminite, which we need to kill the, the moon lord for. Tw uh, 40 chlorophyte, 40 shroomite, 40. I don't even know where to get the specter bars. Then we have uh, 40 hexstone. We probably have that. We probably have the meteorite. I think I have like a thousand meteorites, so I think we have that down. <laughs> Then the hoverboard, uh, soul flight, shroomite. I don't know, should I make the hoverboard? I don't know. There's no weapons here. A mini nuke! Mini nuke one and two. Huge blast radius will kill, will destroy tiles. How do I shoot that? Do I need like a, a fat boy or whatever to shoot that thing? Probably. <laughs> then uh, shroomite plating, ooh. I guess it's just to make it look like uh, stone looks like, like mushroom blocks or something like that. Hmm. You can make a hundred of these. 
Oh, you have to get the rocket four thing, so you probably need like a rocket launcher or whatever. Hmm, that's probably going to be interesting for like mining, but... The shroomite here, I'm not too crazy about it, honestly. I thought it'd be a little bit better than that, to be quite honest, but whatever. Let's go put the, uh, the shroomite up over here. There you go. Are we able to have Vortex Fragment, Solar Fragment, Stardust Fragment, Obsidian? Like, I, sh I should probably go put this in, like, a different chest or something like that, because at least it's taking up room over here, <laughs> right? Uh, let let's go, I guess we can try and make the hallowed now, right? So let's try and do that. And then, uh, dark, well, I guess we'll put that up in, like, tools? There you go. Sure, why not? Lenses? Uh, I guess I'll sell those or whatever, because it's not- Oh yeah, let's, I guess we'll get the cl clean terminator. Go put that up over here in the tools as well, because I'm not going to be using that right now, right? So there you go. Then, I guess hallowed's easy. Yeah, just place that on dirt, I think, right? Like, actual dirt. Like, not grass, but like dirt. Can I do that? Uh, let me get some dirt if I, uh, ash blocks. Here's dirt, okay. So if I need it to be bare dirt, I, I should be able to just place that down, right? And that, that should be good. We can, get, we can get a bunch of worms right now, because it's raining, but I'm not too crazy about that. We, we have pretty pretty much, uh, or plenty of bait, so don't need to get that. Look at how well this is spread over here now. Look at that, we even have a tree! It's grown all the way to the edge there, too. Cool. So, if I put hallowed seeds here... Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Okay, well, it reacted to the dirt there, so... Am I able to place dirt here? No. So I do have to get rid of the, the dirt to expose the dirt. So we could actually, uh, let's see. I guess I cut down the tree. Can I cut down the tree with this thing? No, I have to use the, there you go, pickaxe axe. Then I have to break it like this. There you go. Expose the dirt underneath. And there's the heart lantern back. <laughs> As we have like a grasshopper going there too. Hold on. Let's get some hallowed seeds right there. Boom. Okay, hallowed is growing there. That's good. So let's get that going like this. Boom. Then, uh, I guess, I guess I'll just break a bunch of, and I guess I'll do the same thing here. Fill up the whole screen with me fully zoomed out like this. Yeah, that, that should be enough. I just need to build that bridge over there, and this should be good enough for, like, a hallowed area here, huh? So that's going to be really cool. I just need to zoom in here. And then get rid of all the grass here. Even the underground grass like this. There you go, just to make sure it doesn't spread. Then hopefully we'll get some hallowed spreading over here, you guys, because I don't know if it'll spread on dirt or, uh, on grass. Like, if hallowed will, like- oh, oh, wait, oh, look at that, it is overtaking it. Ooh! Hold on. So... Oh, if I- oh, it's because I put it underground there. Ooh, hold on, so if I did... Yeah, if I- if I put it underneath the dirt there, then it would grow? Well, if that's the case, I might just want to- literally plant some seeds here for some hallowed to hopefully grow over time. Oh, 500, 550th demon eye there. Holy heck. And then over here I need to make like some sort of bridge, right? So if I, if I, if I keep placing these down over here, there you go. Oh, yep, look at that. It's already starting to grow hallowed there. Cool. So you don't even need to get rid of the dirt. That's good. That's good. Let's place all this down and I guess, uh, wherever we have like bare dirt like this, I guess I'll place down some dirt again because it's kind of rough looking there, so. There you go. Especially just so I could easily, like, if I'm on, like, a mount or whatever, I could easily just jump over that, no problem, all right? So that should be good. And there you go. And then we'll plant some hallowed here. There you go. And hopefully this will start spreading pretty well. Oh, wait. Oh, we got some grass right there. Hold on. Yeah, hopefully the, uh, the hallowed gets overwhelmed. Or the grass gets overwhelmed by the hallowed. So there you go. We're planting a lot of seeds here, you guys. And then, like, right here we have, uh, we have stone. If we want to replace that with the dirt, so we could actually uh, have some hallowed spread in there. And as you can see, we already have like a hallowed tree right there, so hopefully, once this is all spread into full-on hallowed... Oh my gosh, look at all the progress over here. Hopefully, this is once this is all spread into full-on hallowed, we'll be able to get that Empress of Light to spawn in. We'll be able to do her mini-boss battle thing. And then maybe we'll do like the Moon Lord boss battle afterwards. That'll be pretty fun, you guys. Because I don't know what else we could do after that. We've, we've got the, uh, the Truffle guy here. Oh, whoa, something's getting- oh, it's one of those demon guys. We got the truffle guy here, we're going to get the, uh, the... Hallowed Moon, or... what is it called? Hallowed Surface Mile. <laughs> we're going to be getting that here in just a moment as well, that's going to be cool. I don't know what else we could do, honestly. My notes are getting pretty dry, to be quite honest. We just finished the Duke, Duke Fish Run not too long ago, and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, and I still have a lot of heckin' hallowed seeds here. I really bought a lot, didn't I? Sheesh. <laughs> but, either way, oh, and then, yeah, another bit right here we could turn into dirt. There you go. Is there any other, uh, around here? I don't know. I'll, I'll probably have to- well, eventually, hopefully, some hallowed stuff will spawn in here, and it'll, it'll hopefully say it's like a hallowed biome or something over there. Actually, I don't think it does that for this, right? Yeah, I don't think it does it for whatever I have, like the Rec 3000. I don't think it shows you what biome you're in, it just shows your elevation. 
so that kind of sucks. But you can see we're already getting some great progress, getting hallowed to spread over here, you guys. I just need to play the waiting game, I guess. Then right here, we got the underground mushroom biome going. And I can get, uh, look at this, I can even harvest mushrooms like right now. Look at that. Four glowing mushrooms there without even trying. I can cut down that mushroom tree and get even more. There you go. There's a living glowing mushroom, literal living growing, glowing mushroom right there too. I, I could just literally just harvest a bunch of glowing mushrooms here and then constantly make more shroomite bars if I need to, if I want to, but nah, I'm not crazy about that, honestly. And look at this, it's starting to spread over here too. That's cool. That's good. So, oh, you know what? If anything, maybe I'll even spread some up on this because I, I know nothing's able to spread up here naturally, right? So, I'll also get it, uh, little, little hallowed seeds planted in there. So hopefully some hallowed can grow and get grown over here and count as more hallowed area. Oh, something's lasering. Oh, oh, pixie. We have a pixie spawning in. We may be able to get the prismatic lace wing. We need that thing to spawn in on the surface hallow. I just don't know if this is that big of an area. I'm like, it's so tiny right now. And of course I could expand a little bit to the left. I guess I could try that. Yeah, like right up there, I could place more, uh, more seeds. Like right up here. And then basically w w once we hit the desert, then I could stop. But right here, I can place down more hallowed seeds. Hopefully get some more hallowed growing. There you go. Literally planting seeds for another biome. There you go. And then like right here, yep, we have more stone I could turn into dirt. Get some more hallowed going. And hopefully spread. There you go. Alright, I think we got a pretty good uh, start here. And a little bit more rocks right there, but I should be able to take care of that. Yeah. Alright. We got some, like, clay or something there as well, which I could break and hopefully get even more hallowed to spread on top of. So there we go. All right. Then, uh, there you go. That should be good. Well, I guess, uh, oh, and yeah, we're, we're killing more, more pixies right now, which is good. So that's good. We can get more pixie dust and use that for whatever. But yeah, look at this. This is almost all surface hallowed now, so that's good. So yeah, we're, we're doing some good terraforming here, you guys. Just need to play the waiting game for everything to continue spreading over here, and then I guess just wait for this prismatic lace wing thing to spawn in between 7.30 p.m. and 12 a.m. and hopefully I'll be- it, it, it only spawn- oh, what was that? Oh, even the- yeah, even the background changed over here, so I guess now this is officially ha yeah, look at that. The, the, the rain is all, like, purple. So I guess now this is officially hallowed. It's big enough to, to constitute as a hallowed biome, so cool. All right, well- Looks like there were some unique enemies over here. I think there was like a mushroom zombie that just spawned in a moment ago. So that's going to be pretty interesting getting some new creatures over here though. But for right now, let me just play the waiting game. I don't know if going over here to, to speed through time is necessarily going to do anything. But, you know, once it turns to like 4.30 a.m. I could do it and that'll be like a whole game day going by. So that'll be pretty cool. But, you know, just basically play the waiting game. Let everything just spread and continue to grow and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I need to place down a... Uh, yeah, I, I got rid of one of those heart lanterns there, unfortunately. So... Need to go place that back down, so I'll definitely have to do that here in just a sec, but... Like I said, let me just, uh, play the waiting game here. Wait for everything to continue spreading, and hopefully, uh... We'll get that lace wing thing to spawn in here, and we'll be able to do that Empress of Light boss. And that's going to be, like, the final boss we have yet to do, you guys. Except for, of course, the Moon Lord, so... Let me just play the waiting game, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Hold on, you guys. Prismatic lace wing right there, boom! Hold on, we need to go kill it. And that should summon- BOOM! OH! Empress of Light has awoken! Hold on, we need to summon in our ballistas over here. Oh, jeez, what in the- Whoa! What in the world is all of this? Am I zoomed out? Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, my God, whoa! That is so much stuff going on right there, holy heck, she has a pretty good amount of health, too, and oh, my God, look at all those things tracking me. Whoa! Hold on, hold on, I need to take my buffs, too, there you go. Oh, my gosh. At least my ballistas are able to hit her, so that's good. Try and avoid her stars that are shooting at us. Oh, they're following us around! She's got fake empresses there, too. We need to watch out. Hold on, stay away. No, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh my gosh, she teleports to us and does instant damage. Holy heck. Okay, okay, stay next to the ballistas. Hopefully we'll be able to heal up in 17. No! No, man! Man, I was not prepared for her at all. I saw the, the, the prismatic lace. Hold on, can another one spawn there? Maybe. We don't we didn't have any of our buffs or anything like that. I definitely need to get our uh hold on. And then we need to heal up as well. Uh, I don't think we we may have like the regen uh lanterns or whatever there. We may have like one or two of them over there, but let's get that going. There you go. Let's go get an, uh, another one of those lanterns. Might want to play. I forget what their range was, but 
Might want to place one somewhere over there so it would hopefully cover up that area. And then we need to find another one of those prismatic lace wing things. And then be a little bit more prepared. So that'll be good. Especially whenever we have, uh... Hold on. I don't even think I had my UFO. Did I have my UFOs? I don't know if I had them out. But uh, now I have two of them, so that's good. Then there's a pixie there. That's where I died. Here are my ballistas. Then, uh... Let's see. Where was... I need to look at the thing up there to see where uh, pr prismatic lace wings are and all that kind of stuff. So this one might want to place the next one like over here or something like that. That'd be quite awesome. Hopefully, uh, oh yeah, we just look up there and then you'll see it disappear. Okay, so about right here, I'm going to have to make another little hole in the ground. So uh, let's do about right here. Is that big enough for it? Two? Oh, yep, perfect. Okay, so that's good. So, yeah, like, around here, we, we did not have any regen benefits, unfortunately, so that sucked. But, yeah, I guess we'll just wait for another lace wing thing to spawn in. Hopefully, I'll be able to kill her. She was... Oh, wait, hold on, another one. Where is it? See it right there. Boom. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, no, that's a pixie. There it is. There it is. Hold on. Boom. Oh, there she is. Hold on. Ballistas, get those going. Buffs. Hold on, we got the buffs going. Hold on, hold on. Get off of the mount. There you go. Off the mount. And hopefully we can do some good damage to her. Jeez. I think we have... Oh my god, I'm actually... Out. Holy heck. There you go. Heal up. I actually took some pretty good damage there, you guys. Need to watch out for that. Make sure I don't have it too much more often. But we do need to let... Oh, no, no, no. Do not get hit by that stuff. Yeah, she like... She's very, very... F oh my gosh! Look at that! She's so fast! It is hard to avoid her, to be honest. It's crazy. She's down to about half health right now, though, which is good. Try and avoid those colored, like, stars or whatever there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where would she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. Look at the rainbows everywhere. Holy egg. We're getting hit hardcore. We still have the ballistas that are doing damage, but, man, I'm taking damage over here as well. Need to watch out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, do not get hit. She's almost down. No, whoa, what? Oh, the sun dance. So that, oh, I need to stay away from, like, all the, just away from her in general during that. That's what killed me there. Man, man, she's kind of tough there, to be quite honest. Hold on. Gastropod, and uh, let, let's drop everything. There you go. That should be good. Man, I need to get another, uh, let's see. There you go, another iron skin right there. And hopefully get another, let's see, there you go. Sharpening, bewitching, get both of these back out. Boom, there you go. Yeah, I guess these, these prismatic lace wing things are relatively common. Just need to try and find them, and then kill them. And of course, that that spawns in the prisma or uh, the Empress of Light thing there, which is crazy. We did twice of that now. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. Is this really that good of an area for the uh, for the ballistas? I don't know. Might want to might want to spread them out a little bit. Maybe put one like right there. Maybe put one like right here. Then maybe another one like right up here at the top of this. Boom. There you go. That that might be fine. And maybe another one like right here, perhaps. There, that, 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 that's probably good. That has some pretty good, uh, although, you know, if we're if all together, then hopefully she'll be able to, oh, oh, I thought we saw something, uh, saw some prismatic lace wing up there. I need to keep watching out for that thing. See if we can find another one, because they, they seem pretty good. We saw two of them in the span of just minutes there, you guys. If we could find another one, that'd be great. I'm just not seeing it right now. Oh, oh I think it's too late, actually. Yeah, 7.30 p.m. to 12 a.m., so yeah, it's just barely too late now, so that sucks. So I guess I'll have to go fast forward through time and hopefully we'll be able to take on this this Empress of Light successfully. I guess I can go check my uh, my chests and everything. I, how much, I wonder how much money we have. It's been a little while since I saw how much money we had, but definitely want to go see how much we have and then, I don't know. Oh yeah, we do need to lower our defense with the Mega Shard. Definitely want to try and do that. Is there anything else I could try and, uh, I don't know. I'm like, I definitely do need to remember the Mega Shard. So let's, let's, let's definitely do that. Don't want to forget about it. But I do need to go bed over here until like 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. She only appears, or the prismatic lace wing only appears during a very specific part of the night. So, yeah, I guess I have to go to bed real quick. And hopefully when I wake up, we can find a prismatic lace wing over in that surface hollow biome. And hopefully third time's a charm against that Empress of Light. All right, guys, I am back. And I, I have some honey blocks. I don't know if breaking them over here will, uh... Will like drop like 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 it'll pull honey or something like that. Will that work here? No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, I do want to see if I can get some like honey to flow over there though. That'd be very helpful because remember you can like regen a little bit better in honey, so that'd be really good. And we're starting to kill a lot of pixies now, so that's good. But I do want to see. Do I have like is it hive blocks or something? Oh, we had a traveling merchant. I forgot about him. Yeah, whoops. 
Eh, not that big of a deal. Living fire. Now, I don't know if we have any hive blocks or anything like that over here, unfortunately, you guys. If we do, I'm not seeing it. But not too long ago, we did actually break. Oh, does it even drop hive block? I don't know. Oh, no. What if I, uh, if I get, like, a bucket? Can I? Like, I know I can get bottled honey. Surely you can get a bucket of honey and get, like, tons of buckets and then bring it over here that way. Hmm. I don't know, but hey, look at that pixie banner. I guess I can sell that to Gus. So that's you. And we're almost time. There you go, sell all that. Uh, we're almost at the time to, uh, yeah, about a minute until, uh, hopefully we can find some lace wing things over there. So definitely want to get prepared for that, you guys. So I do want to use the Mega Shark. We could use the Solar Eruption still. That'll be good. And of course, the Ballista Staffs. Don't want to forget about that. Might want to start using the Possessed Hatchet a couple times there, too. Just because, hey, why not? And then, uh... Yeah, the stuff over there should be fine, and then we should still have both of these uh, ancient alien guys flying around us whenever we have the bewitching table, and there you get some sharpening from that as well, so should be good in that regard. Let's head over there right now, though. Might want to pre-place down those ballistas, too. And yeah, definitely do want to watch out for whenever she's doing that, like, sun ray attack or whatever, where, like, sun, or, like, uh, like, 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 light is, like, radiating out of her or something. Definitely do want to avoid that. Let's put the uh, ballistas, like, right here. Was nice and flat, not an angle, should be able to hit her from wherever, right? So that's going to be good. Let's see if we can find one of those prismatic lace wing things, because it is now past 7.30. Should be able to find them now. And if we do find one... Oh, oh, oh! Yep, right there, boom! Let's kill it. Is it killing it? There we go, there we go, we got it, we got it! Shoot her with this. Oh, she's... Okay, now, no, okay, now her defense is a little bit lower, so that's good. So let's try and avoid... All of her attacks and stuff, oh, like that, like that. Definitely want to avoid that. Don't want to get poked by that. Definitely want to keep our distance here, you guys. Might want to even switch over to the Mega Shark during that as well. That'd be good. Hold on. Looks like, looks like her lower defense has worn off, so that sucks. Hold on. I need to take my buffs, too. Need to get more defense. Okay, we got the Mega Shark. Oh, stay out of all that stuff. Okay, just keep shooting her with the Mega Shark right now. And hopefully the Ballistas are still able to get her, so that's going to be good. Oh, my gosh. Well, she's losing a lot of health right now, which is good. I do have a lot of E-Core, but oh, yeah, definitely want to stay our distance right now. Stay, stay, stay away. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we hit her again right there. She still has a lower defense. That's good. Let's keep on hitting her with this and avoiding all of her attacks. Oh, we're still doing okay on health. We're still doing all right on health. Don't need to heal up again just yet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think she's above us. Might want to start. Oh, 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 might want to start. Here we go. Here we go. Hitting her with the Mega Shark again. There we go. Heal, healed up from that. That's good. So hopefully we're going to. Oh, stay away from all that. Oh my God. Well, we're still doing really well in health. She's uh, about a third health right now. Oh, oh, stay away from all that. Stay away from all that. Definitely want to hit. Keep hitting her with a Mega Shark during that that bit. Oh, don't want to be stuck on any terrain during that. Oh my God, she flies around so fast during that segment. You guys, holy egg. You don't want to get hit by that. Oh, nice. That's good. Let our uh, ballistas continue doing some good damage. Oh, my gosh. If I want to stay away. Come on. She's almost down. She's almost down. No. Oh, my God. Do not get poked. Do not get poked. Get oh, my God. I'm so low right now on health. No, man. She was so low on health and I was so low on health as well. <laughs> that was so close there, you guys. Man. But yeah, shooting it with the E, she, she got really close to dying. And yeah, I, I also did read, yeah, you do want to also consider catching those lace wing things. So you can actually have a little bit more control over when the, the whatever Empress of Light spawns in and all that kind of stuff, you know? So we don't have to like keep waiting and all that kind of stuff. So might want to consider doing that. So, okay, yeah, we have our both our, okay, let's get these going. Boom, there you go. And then let's see if we can find another prismatic lace wing thing over here. Ballistas might need to be placed down again. Yeah, they must have despawned during that or something. There you go. I'm not seeing a prismatic lace wing right now. There's just regular uh, pixie right there. And we still have about another two minutes until... Uh oh Something spawning over here? No. Spores... Spore zombie! Ooh! Let's keep our eyes peeled for a prismatic lace wing, though, you guys. It could be anywhere. It could, it could just, like, not spawn in at all, so... That, that, that's where it comes into play, saying, hey, you might want to actually get capture it with like the net that way you don't have to like wait until nighttime and stuff like that but man we were so close right there i do not want to miss out on another opportunity we have a minute left basically and i don't i don't know if my uh, minions automatically attack her or not by the way yeah we have a healing thing right there i also place another healing thing all the way over here 
So we've got a lot of area here to heal up, so that's good. I do want to remember to take my buffs beforehand, too. Because I forgot to do that until, like, a little bit midway through, honestly, so... Man, I'm not seeing another Prismatic Lace Wing right now, you guys. Keep seeing what... No, nothing popped up on the Rare Creatures thing there. That, that's where it's going to pop up, by the way. It's going to pop up on the Rare Creatures nearby thing. And nothing's nearby right now, so that sucks, man. All right, well, we have until 12 a.m. It's about to turn to 12. Oh, man, a unicorn just got killed right there. That's cool. Oh, uh, what in the world is that? Oh, that was a that was a glowing mushroom biome creature right there. Yeah, I'm not seeing another glowing uh, prismatic lace wing right now, you guys. This sucks. We we're so close to being able to take it on and, and beat it. But no, man. What in the world is all this stuff? Oh, it's just pixies and stuff. Really? All right, well, it's about to turn to midnight, and now it's not going to spawn in anymore. Okay, so it's not here. I'm like, that just goes to show you better make this as big as possible so you have as much room for this stuff to spawn in, but I'm like, I kind of ran out of room over here, honestly, so that kind of sucks. I don't know. I might just end off the episode right here, and then, uh, like, we got really close to beating the Prismatic, uh, the Empress of Light, like, three times there, basically. Well, uh, right there, we got really close to beating her. The, the first time, I don't know how close we were, and the second time, I don't remember how close we were. But definitely that third time right there, we were really close to beating her, you guys. So, yeah, maybe between this episode and next episode, I'll try and find a lot of Prismatic Lace Wings, try and capture them with our net, and then, uh, basically just spawn them out, like, release them, and then kill them. And that's how you can, you know, like, I can just store it over here in the summoning items chest, you know? And... We'll be able to take them on whenever we want to. So that's going to be really cool. I also did want to see how much money I had, and I forgot to look it up. So I guess we can go sell something to someone real quick. Whoops. Then we went to catch anything with a net right there. Let's sell these things. Boom, boom, boom. We have 20, 21 platinum. Hey, there's that number. And 19 gold, 90 uh, silver, 32 bronze. Yeah, I don't know where that big influx of money came from, you guys. It must have been during those boss battles. Or uh, like those events, like like the like the Christmas event, the the Christmas moon, frost moon, and the pumpkin moon event. Probably during those that we got a lot of money. So yeah, and especially selling off some of the random stuff that we don't need. It's probably where we got a lot of stuff too. And there's a, a Hina dab. We need to move you to. Oh, I need to be near that, don't I? Yeah. Need to move him over to the desert because that's where. Oh, that's where I died. I thought the heckin' truffle died there or something. <laughs> Let's try and move... There he is right there. I don't know what it took him so long to respawn in. That was kind of weird, but there we go. And yeah, this is still desert over here, which is good. It transitions about... Yeah, see, look, there's purple water right here. You can see a rainbow very faintly in the background. Yeah, there's still a little bit of halid right there. So it is spreading into the desert, it seems, right there. So I don't know if uh, <laughs> we might want to get the cleansing or whatever to... The Clintaminator try and clean that up or something like that, but yeah, no, no rare creatures nearby. It's too late for that thing to spawn in for right now. So I guess I'll just end off the episode right here with a lot of great progress done this episode. Making two artificial like biomes, taking on the Empress of Light a few times there unsuccessfully, but really close that third time around. Uh, and yeah, I'd say it was a very successful episode overall. Maybe next episode we could actually prepare a little bit more for that Empress of Light battle, and then maybe we could finally take on the last tower and take on like the moon lord or something like that i don't know i might want to have like an episode of just purely just preparing and then maybe trying to like upgrade stuff get better armor etc etc i don't know if this valhalla arm is the best we're ever going to get i'm like at least with this we, we can get multiple ballistas and of course they're really highly upgraded too so i don't know i might try it once just to see if we could even do it then i guess after after we fail the moon lord we're going to summer in against doing who knows what is it going to spawn in another four towers if i do that I guess, maybe, if, if that's the case, then hey, that, that's good. We'll be able to hopefully take on those towers, get more of those uh, those fragments and stuff like that, craft more stuff out of that. So that's going to be really cool if that's the case. It's just a constant repeating thing. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more, and by the way, I can't skip through time anymore. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There you go. Now we can. Never mind. It just. Okay, maybe <laughs> it skipped like a minute right there. And then now, now, now I can't go to sleep to skip through time any faster, so that sucks. Man! Oh, right when I say that to try and demonstrate it, I just mess up. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know where I was in my outro, but you guys know the deal. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you guys want more of these awesome videos. And be sure to ring that bell so you won't miss a future episode. Because, of course, you guys don't want to miss these final episodes of Terraria, like Vanilla. We're, you know, preparing to take on the Moon Lord, take it on the final bosses, getting the best of the best armor and weapons and whatever else that we have. Definitely don't want to miss any of that, so be sure to ring that bell so you won't miss any of that. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria.
Oh, bye there. Oh my gosh, this thing's crazy. Oh, bye there. 